morning, year six. We're on to our last paragraph of our shared right. So we're innovating a discussion text and we're thinking about paragraph four. What's the purpose and the content of this paragraph? Okay, the purpose is a conclusion. It's a summary of the points you've made and summarise the argument as a whole. Today we're writing a board paragraph. The question we're looking at is should uniform be banned? Will the purpose or content change? Hopefully you'll all have said content. The point of the paragraph is to remain the same. So the structure should be a conclusion, a summary, and what should happen now having considered both of the sides of the argument. So in the model text about leprosy, the final paragraph read, the evidence for and against sending those with leprosy away are compelling. The potential negatives and relatively limited research into this disease leads us to question whether the drastic action of banishing those inflicted is the best strategy at this moment in time. So what information do we have to include? So, the evidence for and against, how can we change this first sentence? Look at the word bound from Cecil to help you. I've had a go on the next slide. As discussed, there is strong evidence for and against pupils wearing school uniform. The cost element, discipline aspect and safety factors are important. So there's strong evidence for and against. I've summed up, we're looking at both sides. Here, to improve, I think I could just change this to a dash to emphasise. Okay, so as discussed, there is strong evidence for and against pupils wearing school uniform. Cost element, discipline aspect and safety factors are important. Now have a go at writing your first sentence. Remember to say each sentence aloud, proofread and check for spellings and punctuation. The second sentence in the model text with the potential negatives and relatively limited research into this disease leads us to question whether the drastic action of banishing those inflicted is the best strategy at this moment in time. We come to the present and think actually what's happening with this debate about uh, school uniform. So pupils parents and teachers have very different ideas and this concept which started in the 19th century for wearing school uniform will divide people for years to come so to improve i think i might change pupils parents and teachers have very different ideas uh, i might say differing viewpoints concept could be idea uniform started in the 19th century, my commas are correct for extra information, will divide people or just divide opinion for years to come. Okay, have a go at writing your second sentence, say it out loud, write it down, check the spelling and punctuation. Okay, write your fourth paragraph, we look forward to seeing your work. Bye, Essex.